How do you feel about all that's unfolded in, say, the last 36 hours? Ah, uh, man, uh, it's hard to know what I feel right now. Uh, just because things kind of ended so sudden, you know, going into the tournament, you kind of know that one of these games is going to be our last game, so you can kind of take it slow. Uh, like, it just happened. It felt like it just flew by because nobody expected it to end. Now that you know you have played your final game as a Spartan, what will you take from that game? Ah, uh, uh, I went out a champion. Uh, you know, not the season that we wanted, not the season that we kind of expected, but at the end, we fought through a lot. Uh, we battled, and we got a chance to host up, hoist up a trophy. So I see a year, I feel like I, I did end it with a championship. I'm not sure we could put into words this season for you because let's remind people that this is a season that began with the death of your brother. How has that impacted sort of how you feel about what's happening right now? Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of tough for me uh, to, you know, feel the same way I, I guess a lot of seniors feel because I, I feel like I've been through a, a situation that's way worse, you know, so. I might not be the best person to ask about the season ending this way because, you know, I feel like, relatively speaking, uh, there's a lot of worse things that, that could happen. So, you know, I got to enjoy my senior year, had a great team, a great coach. Uh, everything about it was was uh, great on that end. So, you know, still having a chance to end it a champion, uh, end it with my brothers, you know. There's no better feeling. So what would you say to another senior out there who may be sort of stuck in that, oh, I can't believe it's ending this way. What sort of perspective, what would you say to that, that other player? Uh, I would just try to tell them to, to thank their new school, thank their university. And, uh, you know, remember that it's a, it's a blessing. You know, they should be grateful that they got to wear that uniform for four years, to represent their school for four years. Uh, there's a lot of guys who, you know, had a chance to do something special this year that got cut short. I feel really, really bad for those guys because going to the tournament, uh, playing in those games is was a great feeling, but, you know, to play at these universities, play at these schools, and enjoy it, uh, just, just be grateful that you had the opportunity to do that. And we were talking to Sean Farnham on the program yesterday, and he said, look, even if the college tournament goes on and they, they play this without fans, the kids who are in the tournament now are already missing out. Help us understand, when you make the decisions that you do as a basketball player in college to come back, how much of those decisions is sort of impacted by the chance to, to go back and to compete for a title and to play in the tournament? Oh, that's 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 a huge contributor. You know, the, the tourney is really what it's all about. Uh, from the summer, throughout the season, all the grinds, you know, all the days you have to pick yourself up and dig through is to go into that tournament and try to make a run. There's no better feeling than all your work going off the whole season to, to make this final push, this final run. Uh, in the tournament with your fans behind you going to different places, different sold-out gyms and things like that. And we had a chance to play the Final Four where we sold out a, a football stadium. You know, that's unheard of. Like, those are the things that you dream about since you were a kid. So, you know, people who are robbed of that opportunity, you know, I feel really, really sorry for them. How do you think you're going to look back on this season, say 10, 15, 20 years from now? Oh, man, I'm probably going to have so many different uh, feelings and emotions about about this season. It's probably been the craziest season uh, I've been a part of. Uh, and it was a very competitive season. I feel like the Big Ten was very competitive, probably most competitive since I've been there. So that was all the things I went through, playing a tough schedule, you know, every night. Uh, it, was, it was definitely a season for the book. Cassius, we're sorry that you didn't get to have the ending to your college basketball career that you probably had planned out in your mind, but we do appreciate the time with us this morning. Yeah, thank you so much.